Hey, what's up, everybody? I want to welcome you to this very brief case study on how I got 70 leads to a brand new business in less than one day. But before I get into that, I'm going to introduce you to myself a little bit more so you know why I'm qualified to one show and to tell you about this. My name is Justin Taylor, and I'm a VP of Marketing right now at Royal USA. We're based out of Tampa, Florida, and we are a multi-million dollar company which is always fun to say. I've been in marketing for about eight years and Facebook advertising for about seven of those years. I specialize in getting leads to businesses. I don't know, do the whole... I don't do the whole, I'll get likes to your pages, which won't get you sales, or I'll get likes on your posts, which won't get you sales. I get leads to businesses. It's just as simple as that. And so before I get into this case study, I'm going to tell you a quick story about how it came to pass. Now, I have a friend who's a certified personal trainer. She just got certified maybe two months ago, and she decided to start her own business. She needed clients, like all businesses do, and she didn't have a lot of money, so she turned to Facebook advertising. Like most of you, she might have heard that you can get phenomenal results on Facebook without spending that much money. When she tried to advertise on Facebook, however, she saw no results and spent a ton of money, which is the exact opposite of what you want as a business owner. And so she turned to me and she said, Justin, I tried advertising on Facebook and it's not as easy as some people said it would be. I didn't see any results. How do you do it and can you help me? And I told her yes. I said, I'd be more than happy to help you. And so we set a plan into motion on July the 1st. This ad ran July the 5th, the morning after July 4th, for about six hours. And you might be thinking, six hours? Well, that's nothing at all. But let me tell you what happened. I was sleeping peacefully that morning, and around 10.30 she gave me a call. She said, Justin, stop the ad. I'm booked for the next six months. Which, even though I was a little bit groggy, I was just smiling from ear to ear. I was as happy as could be because, I mean, that's what I do. She's my friend, and not only did I help her out, I proved to myself even more so that Facebook advertising is the best avenue for businesses of any size when it comes to just getting leads. And so let's take a look at what I did. I'm going to show you... Uh, the whole process I mean it's a very quick process for me and I'll show you the results in a moment but first let's see how this ad performed we had 344 website clicks so that means 344 people clicked on the ad on Facebook and went over to our landing page the ad reached 10,000 people in her local area each person saw the ad one time, maybe a couple people saw it twice. We spent $84.95 and our average cost per click was around a quarter, 24 to 25 cents. Which, I mean, it's that's just amazing to pay 25 cents per visitor to your offer. It's just think about how high of an ROI you could get from that kind of cheap traffic. And so I'm going to show you the ad real quick, but first I'm going to point your attention to the click-through rate. Now, the click-through rate is 3%. That means 3% of the people who saw the ad click the ad. And I don't know what it says to you, but to me that says one thing. It says, one, the ad is powerful, and two, the people running the ad really know their target audience. They know it's going to make them click. They must have a great call to, act, call to action, excuse me, and they must really be in the mind of their audience to get that many people to click on their ad. And so let's take a very brief look at the ad. I'm going to show you that now, and I'm also going to show you why getting likes and shares and all that really is just overrated. So this is the ad. It's a very simple ad. Uh, two disclaimers real quick, I did have to blur out the ad copy and the page name and I had to change the location and that's just to make sure that her business was a little bit more private. I mean I'm showing you a lot as is and I wouldn't want to 
put her out there in any kind of negative way. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into it. If you see the picture, it doesn't look professional at all. Some people might be thinking, how could a picture like this work? And it's in the targeting. It's really, the secret is in the targeting and actually knowing your audience. Well, let's take a look at this ad. It says, free body toning workout plan. In the background, there's three pictures, one, two, three, of females with fit bodies. Very simple. There's no trick photography. I mean, I did this ad in maybe 10 minutes. I didn't professionally do it. I didn't even make sure all the pictures were the same size. I just went out and got it done. And it worked. I mean, there's no two ways around it. The ad worked because the targeting was so accurate that the people who saw the ad felt the need to take action. And now let's check this out for a moment before I get into targeting. You already saw the 344 website clicks, but what we didn't see is the interaction. The 15 post likes, the 12 page likes, and the 5 post shares. And a lot of you might be thinking, well that's awful, no one even liked your post. It must be a bad post. It's not necessarily true. A lot of the times, liking and sharing and all of that, it's just overrated because that's not what you're on Facebook for, is it? And that's not what you're advertising for. You want results, you want leads that turn into sales. Liking doesn't turn into a sale, liking the page doesn't turn into a sale, and sharing the post, it could turn into a sale, but more times than not, somebody probably just thinks that it's a cool idea. The things that turn into sales are visitors to your landing pages and leads from those visitors. And I'll show you the results on that in a second, but first I want to get into the targeting. Like I said before, I had to change the location to keep her business to private, but the location was the surrounding area where she was located. The age was 35 and older, and the gender was female. For the interest, like I will continue to say, we have to dig down deeper into the target audience. If you don't take anything from this very short presentation, take that. You have to dig down deeper into the target audience. What she did when she went on Facebook to advertise is she typed in weight loss. And it's not wrong to think that targeting weight loss on Facebook is good for a personal trainer. Because in theory, it should be. However, in reality, all the people who like weight loss aren't exactly into weight loss. They might care less about it. Perhaps the weight loss page shared a cool photo and they liked the page that once. Perhaps they liked it 24 months ago and now they're in the best shape of their lives. I mean, the possibilities of that are really endless. There's so many reasons why people who like a certain page aren't your ideal customer. And so, I had to dig down a little bit deeper into her target audience, and what I came up with was three interests, excuse me, three interests to target. I targeted Oxygen Magazine, I targeted diet to go which is a website that provides uh, healthy recipes and things of that nature, and I targeted Women's Health and Fitness Magazine, and that's it. Things that might not come to mind when you first think about weight loss, but clearly, as the results or as the results show, it works. And so this is me digging down deeper into the audience. And now let's take a look at the results of me digging down that deeply into a audience. As I said, we set this plan into motion on July the first. And so on July the second, I set up a very simple landing page, a squeeze page, whatever you'd like to call it. I tested it out with an opt-in. You see the one visitor there. It was good. Worked fine. July the 3rd, I had a couple other people test it out. I said, hey, visit this page. Tell me what you think. How do you like it? Put in your information and let's see if everything goes through. That's fine. On July the 3rd, we added a autoresponder, which is why we have two opt-ins. We just had to check that out to make sure it's functioning correctly. And on July the 5th, that's where the magic happens. It's where everything came together in a wonderful six hours of advertising and lead fury, if you will. Now in this case, the opt-in was a name, an email, their phone number, and the best time to call. 
And as you see here, we have a 31, about a 31.5% conversion rate. That means 31% of the traffic that we sent to this website said, I see your offer, I see you're offering me a free consultation, I'm going to go ahead and take that offer, yes, have my information, contact me, sell me, whatever, consult me, whatever your, that your leader service is, I want that. And so this is where she called me and said, Justin, listen, I'm already booked for the next six months, you have to pause that ad. Phenomenal. I mean, the results speak for themselves. This is Facebook advertising at its finest. Now guys, before we part ways for the day, I want to give you guys uh, two options. Option one is called the struggle. Now, you could struggle to get new leads into your business. You could struggle with your marketing. You could even take what I've shown you here today, go try to apply it to your niche. You could try to learn Facebook ads. You could try to take my seven years of experience and, well, quite frankly, blindly apply it to your business. Option one entitles you failing many, many, many times before you reach success. And I mean, I, I honestly don't want you guys to fail. I also don't want you to feel like there's no hope because there is hope. Facebook advertising, once learned, can be a very efficient tool. However, the question is, do you have the time to learn it? And that's where option two comes in. Option two is what I like to call the succeed option. I offer a very specific service to a very limited amount of local businesses. Like I told you now, I'm based out of the Tampa, Florida area. And you are too, because quite frankly, that's who I'm targeting. Like I said, I'm very good at what I do, and what I do is get leads for your business. So, if you want leads, if you want new leads that turn into sales, if you want new customers, if you say to yourself, I'd like to be able to call this guy and say, stop the ads, I'm booked for the next six months, the next year, the next two years, whatever, if you want to see that growth and that increase, from a professional not just from somebody you hire who's never touched Facebook ads or who says they're a specialist but in reality they're just outsourcing to some unheard of country if you want the real results for your business from me then here's what I'm going to need you to do on this page there is going to be either a button or a form all you have to do is input your information click submit and that's going to come directly to me and then, in the next 24 to 48 hours, I'll give you a call, I'll shoot you an email, whatever your preferred method of contact is, and we'll go over the many different ways that I can help your business when it comes to leads and sales. And guys, I mean, that's really it. Those are the two options as I see it. Once again, I want to thank you for watching this very brief case study, and I do advise you to watch back over it again. See some of the things I did, maybe dissect some of the ways that I created the ad and I targeted the audience, and apply it to your business because it does help. This isn't just a sales pitch. I want to help you guys. Once again, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. I'll, I'm sure I'll be releasing some within the next coming weeks. Thanks again, guys.